Hi, it's Ollie from GetGeek, and today I'm doing a quick video showing you how to back up a database in SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the latest version of Management Studio, which is version 18.5, but this has not changed for a long time. So what you need to do is to right click on your database, go to Tasks, go to Backup, then when in here you want to check the settings, so uh, that is the database we want to back up, uh, and then we're doing a full backup rather than a differential and we do want to back up to disk. Now this will have a default path in here. If it isn't the path that you want, then you can just go remove and then add it in. And then you can either browse via the three dots here or just type the path. Uh, so I'm just going to put in the name as computer shop with the date. Uh, and then you've got to make sure it's got BAK on the end. Um, and then you hit OK. And then if you go to media options, there's a few extra options in here, whether you want to overwrite a backup if you've already done a backup, but this is a new backup, so you don't need to worry about that. And there's also some checks that you can click if you want any of those, but we're not going to do any of those today. Um, and then in here, depending on the version of SQL Server Management Studio, sorry, just depending on the version of SQL Server that you're running, you can either compress it or you can't. Now, I think in uh, SQL Express, you can't actually compress it, but I'll try it anyway. Uh, yeah, so that is correct. Um, so today I will just be uh, using the default server settings, which is non-compressed backup. So we'll OK that. And there we have our backup. And that's all there is to it. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments uh, if there's any other videos you'd like me to do. It's been Ollie from GetGeek. Thanks. Bye.